7 million, only 3 to 4,000 are from uh, India. Potential is there and it is huge. Okay. It is huge on both sides. So uh, we should definitely work uh, towards uh, increasing the number of tourists on both sides. And uh, we agreed with uh, the uh, Indian Association of Tour Operators uh, that uh, they would organize a group of tour operators that would visit Bulgaria and uh, see the potential of Bulgaria and then we'll send a group of tour operators here uh, to India to see the potential of India. Uh, and uh, I'm uh, very positive and I'm certain that uh, this would allow us to uh, triple and, uh, um, and uh, increase with uh, more than three times the number of tourists. Uh, we need to reach uh, at least uh, 20, 30,000 tourists on both sides. This right. is perfectly doable. But agreement between B Bulgaria and, and India for, for tourism happened there in 1994. But again, in the last 18 years, nothing concrete happened as such. True, we, we haven't done much so far, even though the number of tourists uh, in 2011 compared to 2010, for example, increased with some 50, 60 percent. But since our base is very low, these numbers do not um, amount to uh, tens of uh, thousands of uh, people uh, that visit the two countries. Uh, so uh, uh, now we have a clear agenda on how, how to do that. And uh, we should leave businesses because it is not, it is not the government that uh, takes people and promotes a destination. It is also the government, though, because um, we can always share our experiences. When I go to Bulgaria in uh, uh, some show similar to yours, I will, sh I will share with uh, everyone in Bulgaria my experience in India. I really liked it here, to be honest, and uh, um, you, you have um, incredible hospitality. Right, right, I right, have right. visited many countries mm -hmm. and I have never seen such a hospitality. I visited Taj Mahal on uh, Sunday. It's, it is an incredible uh, monument and I plan to come back again uh, for trekking in the mountains. I'm fond of trekking in the mountains, so I definitely plan to come back again. Of course, India is uh, such a large and diverse country that uh, I, told, I told your tourism minister that uh, even if I come back uh, every month until the end of my life, mm -hmm. I would still have things that I haven't seen. Yeah, that's true. India is really very oh, potential is yeah. the potential is enormous. Right, right, right. Apart from Varna, you have very good city over there. Can you name other cities in Bulgaria who is having very good potential as far as tourism is concerned? The whole Black Sea. It is yeah. not only Varna, but it is also Burgas. It is uh, all the resorts that we have. Small resorts, but not that small because Sunny Beach, for example is one of our most famous resorts and uh, during the summer uh, we have more than 250,000 people at any point in this resort only. Okay. So uh, there is huge potential. We have uh, beautiful winter resorts as well. We have uh, Bansko which is a very famous ski destination. Mm -hmm. We had uh, two World Cups uh, that uh, took place in Bansko. Uh, we have uh, Pamporovo which is another winter resort, but apart from the mass tourism, summer and winter, we also have, um, um, this Bulgaria is very, very popular, it's becoming very popular as a golf destination as well. In 2011, we were ranked number one new golf destination in the world. So uh, golf is one option, we have uh, more than uh, 600 mineral springs with temperature of the water between uh, okay. 30 degrees and 103 degrees okay. with uh, many healing quantities. So uh, spa tourism, recreational tourism, uh, these are options that uh, could be uh, explored by uh, tourists from uh, India. We have very rich cultural heritage too. Um, uh, Thracian uh, tribes uh, inhibited Bulgaria more than 2000 uh, years ago. We have uh, tombs, we have very rich cultural heritage uh, um, dating back uh, more than 2,000 years ago. It's time to go for a very short break. Please stay tuned. Bulgaria is a very investment-friendly country. Bulgaria is uh, the best country in Europe for uh, making an investment because uh, it is not only the lowest tax rates that uh, we have in the whole European Union, 
It is also the macroeconomic uh, stability and fiscal consolidation that we have done in the last three years. 100% FDI is allowed. I'm asking for Bulgaria. This kind of FDI is there in uh, Bulgaria also? Yes, foreign direct investments uh, can be made in any area. There are no protected uh, areas in, uh, in, in Bulgaria. Welcome back. We are in talks with Bulgaria's Tourism, Economy and Energy Minister. Mr. Minister, you always say that uh, Bulgaria is very investment friendly country with the lower tax and can you please explain a bit further? It is. I believe that uh, at the moment uh, Bulgaria is uh, the best country in Europe for uh, making an investment because uh, it is not only the lowest tax rates that uh, we have in the whole European Union. In Bulgaria we have a 10% uh, flat tax on uh, corporate uh, tax, personal income tax, 5% tax on dividends. So um, taxes are uh, the lowest in the European Union. But it is also the macroeconomic uh, stability and fiscal consolidation that we have done in the last three years. We rank according to all macroeconomic uh, uh, criteria we rank uh, in the first three countries in the European Union with the uh, lowest uh, uh, debt to GDP ratio with a very low budget deficit below 2% this year. With what uh, is the debt GDP uh, and GDP ratio? It is 15%. Uh, we are second country in the European Union with the lowest uh, uh, debt to GDP ratio of only 15%. Uh, we managed to uh, issue an emission for uh, euro bonds uh, just uh, two months ago and uh, we got financing at 4.2% uh, which, which shows the financial stability of the country and the credibility among uh, creditors. This emission was for uh, almost 1 billion euro and it was oversubscribed seven times. So uh, it is not only that uh, financial and political stability, but it is also the uh, many, the numerous incentives that uh, the country offers to potential investors. Right. Uh, any investment in um, uh, production or technology in the real sector of uh, over 2 million euro, they classify as either class A or class B investment. Mm -hmm. And uh, being classified uh, in such a way, uh, gives these investors a lot of incentives. Uh, first of all, it gives them personal project manager from Invest Bulgarian Agency that would follow them and uh, help them with uh, uh, every administration in and Bulgaria. As well as clearance, getting clearance from government. Yes, absolutely. In okay. uh, in in the uh, state administration, but also in the local administration in Bulgaria. Um, this investor can uh, buy land or uh, property at uh, market value with uh, no tender for the sale of that land, with uh, not, not competing with any other company. Uh, you can get infrastructure built to uh, your production site, for example, and the state would pay for that infrastructure. Uh, you can get uh, financial bonuses from the state for making your investment, for example, the latest uh, change in the legislation for encouraging investment envisages that uh, for a period of two years an investor class A or class B would get back the social security payment on the side of the employer uh, as uh, uh, money given back. This actually reduces the uh, cost for